Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for today. This is a continuation of the test server video as a part of episode 43, The Dark Knights, uh, which has an official release date of April the 14th, so it's uh, <laughs> very quickly approaching. Uh, I thought I'd share kind of a brief, a brief uh, preview of the open world of Death Metal uh, Washington, D.C., just so you can kind of get uh, a little familiar with it, know kind of where you're going in the first day. So as you spawn in the first day, you're going to be on the, the steps here. Wonder Woman Death Metal, that's going to be the Dark Knight Bounty, one of the weeklies. Your second weekly is going to be the Phantom Stranger. Lex Luthor is kind of like your daily mark. Eventually, once uh, Ninja Batman or Death Metal Batman shows up, he'll be in this corner. He'll be uh, your OP mission. And we got Mish Martian. We got Nubia. We've got John Stewart. I know you can handle the UV core. You ready? We've got Jimmy Olsen. So, in terms of the actual open world, it is uh, quite a massive map. And you can kind of see, essentially based on like Doom Washington DC, like the Hall of Justice would have been over there, that's the, the previous mission. Here we've got the Legion of Doom sitting in the water. So, in terms of the Dark Knight Weekly Bounty, that's going to be found here. So you get that a part of your <clears throat> death metal swing song. Each one of the different Dark Knights will be in this area. They are all going to spawn here. In terms of collection nodes, there is no real reward. Uh, all the rewards are from completing the collections, and as well as the. Um, I can kind of show it here as well, just by accepting that one. The only rewards per se are just the uh, augments. So if I go to here, the reward for this one completing this 10 collection is just the blue augment. There's another collection that gives the green one and the purple one. You only get one. That's it. So it's it's not. Don't uh, don't break your back trying to complete these. All this is just going to be one augment. So flying back here, there's going to be another mission except here. complete five missions for Miss Martian. So the, they've really expanded upon the open world and added a lot more missions just to kind of keep you more involved. I think uh, what Doom Washington was like three or four missions and that was it. And I'm sure there's going to be a bounty later in the future. And if you want to see kind of the map, it's quite a large area. And going down to the respective missions, You'll have missions where it's going to involve Apex Predators. They're in this section. It's going to be missions involving kind of cleaning the streets, clearing off these platforms. It's going to be ones where the foot shoulders, they're all in this area here. Kind of neat little effect. It, it panics you that whenever you get near these orbs. Kind of not a uh, neat effect. You, like auto, you're auto panicked. But that's a part of the mission as well. <laughs> Same thing with this area here. And actually, if we fly up to another rooftop here, we're going to get another mission except this one for Jon Stewart. So these ones are all the thralls in this area. So we get the mission except here for Jon Stewart. In the Hall of Justice itself, there's just some thrall missions. Uh, a few different levels have like the blue collection nodes. This brings us to the Shadow Bounty, which is going to be this mission here. The Horde of the Batmage. And he'll spawn directly in the center here. That's him there. Now. Uh, the one thing to note with this bounty is slightly different. When you kill him, he doesn't automatically respawn. Uh, he'll eventually respawn, the giant shadow Batman demon. But uh, what happens is, if you uh, attack and kill all the lesser demons that are around it, eventually he'll speak to you in chat, like you'll, you'll hear his voice, 
and then eventually he'll respawn if you kill enough of them. Through my experience, it was about you'd have to kill but roughly about 30 of these demons for him to spawn again, and then he would just pop up in the center. So it's not like the other bounty where pretty much it resets every like you know a few minutes and then you kill it and then go back and reset it. So this one may not necessarily be the farming bounty because you'd have to have people continually killing them on the side for him to respawn in the center. And there is a counter feat for this one. Uh, there's two feats for the bounties in general. Uh, there's one, let's see if I can remember it here. There's one where you have to kill like 500 of these demons. You have to defeat 500 of the shadow demons. Defeat each of the Dark Knights, that's the other bounty one. So there's not a counter on that feat, the only feat related to the other bounty. But there is a counter feat here. Defeat the Batman's Giant Shadow Demon. So I know, I haven't done it completely finished, but once I beat this one, then it goes to 10. And I think it goes to 25 after that, so possibly it could go to 50 in terms of the feat unlocks. But uh, the only counter one is on this one, there's no counter one on the Knights. So we get to this section of the map here, which is pretty much all the Dark Robins. And we got the other mission except here. So complete five missions for Nubia. And then pretty much this entire section of the map, which is quite large, is all Dark Robins. I'm also not sure if it's just test server. It could be just test server, but uh, the render distance is quite low. I mean, it's definitely not my PC. <laughs> But the, the render distance is quite low compared to other DLCs. But there's a few Dark Robin missions you can see, plus there's other feats for killing Dark Robins, but they're all spread out over this entire corner of the map. We also get ones that are kind of like guarded by like the, the Batman henchman, the, the henchman on the broker. Or not on the broker, but on the on the vendor. But that's pretty much how these so where I am here, so pretty much this entire area of the map is dominated by Dark Robins. These will be like the Purple Thralls. Uh, the Hall of Justice will be right here for the Shadow Bounty. The other Dark Knight Bounty is here. And then you've got another uh, mission pick up there. And these ones are all like the Apex Predators around here. So all in all, these are all the missions that are going to be associated with it. So we got Breach the Dark Robin Defenses, Fighting the Food Chain, Echoes of Umbrux, which will be all the, the separate sections. Those are the ultraviolet lanterns, those are the apex predators, those are the dark robins. These are the complete five missions. Uh, that's the dark robin disguise from Scoops. That's the uh, other disguise from Jim Olsen. Then to complete five missions from Miss um, Martian and John Stewart, and then the two bounties. So you got plenty of stuff you can do each day. You can also farm those missions for the the five select feats. So just be mindful that uh, if you want to start off right away, then just go to those three areas on the map that uh, I showed you where the mission accepts are, which was uh, on this roof here. So if I can kind of do the uh, on the map here to show you where I am here, that's going to be one of the mission accepts. The other mission accepts are going to be on, uh, I believe it was this roof here, but you can't miss it. It's the John Steer one, but pretty sure this roof. And then the third mission accept was uh, over here, which you'll see is the point of interest. And that's essentially the open world. Same thing you'll see, you'll find like the extra matter spawn throughout the map as well. You'll find the blue collection uh, collection nodes, the green collection nodes, and then the other collections like, like I said before that give the augments. You can also go behind here as well. More just the thralls, apex predators. You can kind of go along the outside of the map as well in the street. So it is a very huge open map. Play spots for bounties in the future. So, like I said, Lobo will be your regular vendor. The Space Hog will be the OP vendor. You got the House of Legends teleporter there. And like I said, the Scoops mission will turn you into uh, a Dark Robin. So you can do those, do those uh, sabotage missions. And then you can also. Click on this for the Gettysburg's address. Address may not matter to uh, people who aren't American. As a Canadian, that doesn't really apply to me. Besides American history class, but here's open world. So hopefully, it gives you a, a little bit of an idea what to do on Thursday when it releases, and you kind of have an idea where to go.
So take care guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.